Alright, hey, how's it going, guys? So, um, just something before I get started on the technical analysis. Um, because I know it's kind of hurting me on the algorithm and the growth of my channel. But, you know, if you guys watch these videos and you enjoy the content, if you could please hit that like button and or subscribe if you get the time. More so if you're already subscribed, hit the like button. As, you know, if you view the, the videos every day and you don't hit the like button, it just kills you know, any chance of my channel growing because the algorithm realizes people aren't interacting with the videos. Um, and honestly, it hurts the channel in the long run if you just watch them and, you know, you don't hit the like or I'm not, you know what I mean? Like they look for interaction and how long people are watching these. So, you know, I hate asking for it, but, uh, you know, it would just really help the growth of this channel. Um, you know, my last couple live streams, it's been really getting, it's been hard getting people to come in and watch them and I've noticed even the the viewing on my static videos is dropping so you know it would just really if you want to see this channel grow and you want to see me you know to motivate me a little bit more to push these videos out it would really be helpful and I would really appreciate it so getting back onto Bitcoin right now we uh, we hit our support line at roughly 9150 had a nice little wick off of it then we had our two touch points where we actually, uh, just about the 9400 area, we have two wicks here. Now, something I was talking about on my live stream that I was talking to myself on, you see this candle right here? This, is, this means indecision. So I really don't like starting positions here as it's just, it's not a very good area if you're trying to base where you're going to go because this i mean literally this is considered indecision mark you know people really can't make up their mind if we're going to go up or down so you know for me at least i'm holding off here so the areas to watch out for is you're going to have your support at 9200 or 9400 area support line with your first resistance being at 9600 which is very important i think if we can break above 9600 and close a 4 hour candle above it it would uh it would be very good for Bitcoin. But your next targets after that are going to be... Uh, it's going to be roughly your 9800 area and then our 10,180. That's where we, you know, it's where we actually made a double top. Was it uh, $10,180, which was right here. So targets to remember, 9200 and 9400 for your support areas where buyers will step in and should hold the price up and then your resistance areas being where the sellers are going to be most you know they're going to be selling the most uh, is going to be your 9600 your 9800 and then our 10,180 mark which we'll just say 10,200 so looking at Ethereum we're holding our support line at about two hundred and five dollars, um, we had a wick down where we touched the bottom of our triangle just below about one ninety eight. So let's just say two hundred. So your areas you want to watch out for on light, or I'm sorry, on Ethereum, is you're going to have your two hundred and five support, our temporary support line. We're going to have much, you know, much bigger support at $180. And then we're going to have another support area at roughly about $160. That's if it was to get really bearish. But, you know, more short term, we really need to hold this $200 area. You have a support area where buyers should step in at 205 and we also have, it looks like we have some support at 190 where you can see where we have this double bottom right here. So basically you have your 190, your 205. I mean, and you have your upsloping line here on this triangle with your first resistance line being at 225. I'm sorry, you're going to have a, more, a little bit smaller resistance at 220, a more bigger resistance line at 225. And then after that, you're looking at about that 235 mark for your next uh, area of resistance. And uh, I'll look at these because I just realized I forgot. Bitcoin showing the same. On the four hour, we are showing bullish divergence. 
So we're showing bullish divergence on uh, market cipher B and Bitcoin is literally exactly the same right now. So our last coin we're going to look at is XRP. We're showing bullish divergence as well. Not as strong though. Uh, you're going to have your support line where buyers should step in at 30 cents. You're going to have a much more stronger support line at 28 cents. And, you know, if all else fails, your last area you're really going to have is that 25 cent mark we've been talking about. If we go out on the daily. Sorry, just making sure we're good. If we go out on the daily, you can see it here at 25. So just to recap, you have support at 25. I'm sorry, you're going to have your short-term support at $0.30, cents, a much more stronger uh, support line at $0.28 cents with your first area of resistance at roughly about that $0.32.5 cent mark, and you're going to have a very, very strong line of resistance. This, it's, this, honestly, I just need to fill in the square, but between $0.38 cents and $0.35, there's going to be a lot of sellers, so just be careful. So you have $0.28, cents, $0.30 cents is your support. Much more stronger support at $0.28, cents, though, with your first area of resistance being at 32 and a half, and then much more staunch, uh, much more bigger resistance between $0.35 and $0.38. Cents. So that should do it for now. Um, like I said, if you would really like to see this channel grow, as I really do in, you know, enjoy making these videos, but I notice the interactions dropping quite considerably. Um, you know, I hate asking, but if you could please hit that like button if you enjoy this. Hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will do another video uh, roughly about 9 o'clock Eastern Time tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later this evening.